Hi, it's Chris Lean back again. Uh, you're watching this video because you were told you were a candidate for a reverse total shoulder replacement. Um, we talked in the previous video about what a total shoulder replacement is, where we replace the ball with a ball, the socket with a socket, so it's a normal anatomic configuration, but all the rotator cuff muscles have to be attached in order for that to work. Because if the rotator cuff on top, the supraspinatus is not attached, uh, then the deltoid over pulls and it will pull that humeral head up and it will rock the glenoid and cause a failure of the glenoid side. So it's very important for us to know whether your rotator cuff is intact so, because this will fail if the rotator cuff is not intact. And that's why we sometimes will get the MRI or ultrasound of the rotator cuff to make sure that you're a candidate for either the reverse or the, t or the uh, total. So that's what a total looks like. What a reverse looks like is you take the ball from the ball side and you put it on the socket side and you put the socket on the ball side. What we're in a sense doing is we're increasing the strain on the deltoid. The deltoid is the muscle, the cape muscle of the shoulder that's on the outside. When you have the intact rotator cuff and the head's riding high, um, basically there's no strain on the, on the deltoid. But in order to get the deltoid to function as your rotator cuff, we have to elongate the shoulder, so make your arm a little bit longer, and we translate it inferiorly, and then we put a glenoid side. This is basically the ball with a screw, multiple screws, into the glenoid, and that's why we sometimes need to get the, uh, the CT scan to make sure the bone quality is good enough, that there's enough bone, and to determine exactly how we're going to change the version of the glenoid uh, to try and maximize your benefit that you're going to get from this. Oftentimes when people get severe osteoarthritis or cuff tear arthropathy, the shoulder rides out the back of the shoulder. So that golf tee gets skewed and we have to know that beforehand because we need to make sure that the implant fits well and is securely fixed to the glenoid side. So that is why the, uh, the importance of the MRI and the CT scan at times to determine exactly what the bone quality is and what the rotator cuff is so we make sure that you have a successful outcome. So once again, the reverse prosthesis, we're reversing the ball from this side to the glenoid side, we're reversing the socket from this side to the humeral side, we're elongating the arm, which improves the moment force on the deltoid so your deltoid can function as a head depressor effect uh, and, or, or as an abductor uh, for the rotator cuff and help you to elevate your arm overhead. The complications associated with this are higher than they are associated with the total shoulder replacement, uh, but it has uh, come down into the 1-2% to 2 range at this point in time. Um, thank you very much. Hopefully we'll see you soon in the OR.